Today we're going to be creating uh, two part files using two different three-dimensional tools. So I'm going to start out with a single part file. For our first part file, we're going to uh, begin by using a circle. So we're going to create a circle, and we're going to dimension it to be a one inch. And we're also going to create a line. Now our line, it doesn't, it won't, it won't matter how, what the dimensions of the line are because we're only going to be using it as an axis for our 3D tool. So let's go ahead and we're going to right click, finish sketch. You may have to do right click done first, right click finish sketch. And then we're going to do a revolve. So we click revolve. Now we need to select our profile first. That's the first red arrow here. So we're going to click our profile, then we're going to select our axis, and this is our resulting problem, or our resulting shape. So that is our revolve. We click OK to make it permanent. And we're going to save this as Mr. Carmody. Revolve. The second 3D tool that we're going to use today is we're going to uh, do the coil tool. So we can uh, we can do this a couple of different ways. Today we're just going to go ahead and we're going to create a new part file. And the coil and the revolve tool are similar because we need one shape and then we need an axe shape to coil. This, this is the line we have right here. We right click done. Now we're going to dimension the rectangle. We want to make it, we actually want to make it a square. So we're going to do point 0.5, oops, point 0.5 by 0.5 and then we are going to, that's all the dimension we need to do. We right click done, right click finish sketch and we are going to select the coil tool. Our profile is automatically selected. Next we select our axis and you'll notice the green line is a preview of what the coil will look like. We can also click on the coil size. We can change the pitch. That means the distance between each one of the rotations or revolutions. Let's change the pitch to two. We can, we can decide how many revolutions we need, as well as tapering the actual coil. That means one end will be smaller than another. We can also change the coil ends to be flat or natural. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click OK at this point to create our coil. Okay, and here it is. Let's zoom all. And you can see that our coil has been created. It's quite a complicated tool. Uh, try to experiment with it. I'm going to go ahead and file uh, so that it can be uploaded. Uh, Mr. Carmody coil. Okay, so your assignment is to create a revolution and a coil, two separate part files, and upload. Thank you very much.